Hello and welcome back to Sunless Sea. That, uh, that last trip. Hmm. Yeah, that wasn't really profitable now, was it? Might have, uh, might have made some mistakes here. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to keep selling those. <laughs> A little present. Why, thank you. Um, here. Have this. That I got from a, a gilet fleur that I killed on the way home. Um, you know what? Just take it. There we go. That's fixed my money problems, guys. I just decided to get rid of that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, dearie me. So. Uh, we're going to sell that as well, because we can, and then we are going to purchase a bunch of fuel, that should probably do the job, and a crap ton of supplies, because we need them, uh, actually no, we'll take it to 30 as well, screw it, we're always going to need both of these things, and we have the cargo space to spare at the moment, so we're going with it, and um, what else could we have? I don't know. Actually, we probably want more fuel than that. No paranoia here. And then we're going to pick up a shit ton of wine. Screw it. We're making a profit on this. <laughs> we're going to do this. We are going... No, mate, no, we're not going yet. Um, we have some port reports. Yep. Go on. Bit of extra fuel, free of charge, salt lines, you can't have my strategic information, do you need anything? Oh well, yeah, uh, bu -bu 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 this port, chapel of lights, whatever, don't think it's on our route at all, is it on our route at all? Uh, no, I don't think it is. Not in the slightest. Well, never mind. Oh, well, it could be, I suppose. It could be on the return route. If I really want it to be. Um, maybe. Might be worth doing. Okay. 45 fuel, 30 supplies. Perfect. Might be overkill, might not be overkill. We don't really know. Still getting a feel for the whole new ship. Um... Yeah. Honestly, I reckon it'll probably do a good job. But uh, but I probably rushed into it a little bit. In terms of uh, having a bit of money to spare. Probably could have done with some. But oh well. Mistakes were made. We know. We know for later. For the next time I want a ship upgrade. Um, okay. What, 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 what shall we do? Hmm. I guess just straight. Do we just want to go straight? Um, not really. We can probably aim for Polyflim. Go past there. It's a nice place. We might pick up some clay men, actually. Um, ooh. That doesn't look friendly, whatever it is. So we will ignore it. Oh god. Not here. Nope. We hit you. Cool. Please don't be grumpy with us. Please don't be grumpy with us. Oh. This is why we have a rear gun. Heat lead. Yeah, that's right. You don't want to fight us, do you? Do you? You still kind of want to fight us, don't you? Though we are slightly faster than you. Oh god, it's submerged. In a whirlpool. That seems sensible. Good job.
Yeah, no, you're, you're yeah, we're just gonna leave you be. Bloody stupid creature. <laughs> there you go, guys. Bit of intelligent combat there. Let's use the environment against our foe. By drawing them into whirlpools entirely by accident. Oh, hello. She's developed a rattle in her lungs. Each time she coughs, the skin of her throat lights with an emberish glow. This latest coughing fit brings her to her knees. And she's, she takes to her bed to recover. She isn't pleased, but she isn't stupid either. Very well, until I judge that I'm well enough to rise from my sick bed, let us both be honest. I'm much better equipped than you to determine when I am well enough. Hmm, well, yeah. Um. Okay, cool. You know, I should probably be doing something with that. In some way, but I have no idea how. Yeah, this is, uh... This is definitely working better. Oh, some bats. Not what they're doing. Just flying around, being bats. That's probably what they're doing. Can't imagine them doing anything else, can you? Doesn't really make any sense for them to be doing anything else. It would be... Stupid, really. Yes, can I help you? I mean, okay. Wow, they just went the full distance there. That seems... Quite rude, honestly. Well, come on then. Charge. Nah. And back paddle. For the tiny, tiny amount of loot that we get from them. Probably not worth doing. But oh well. Cover up the corpses. Throw away the corpses. Full steam ahead. You know, his plans went, that's not terrible. Right, polyframe. You're just down here. We'll come grab some clay men for London. See what we can do with them. I guess we could take some tourists from Vendorbite as well now. If we've got enough sort of fuels and supplies to do that. Might be worth doing it in the future. You know, bit of a, that that tourist money. I'm not. I live in Cornwall now, so that tourist money is is a very real thing here. Sort of, sort of a decent chunk of the economy, in Cornwall. Rather reliant on it. Would be nice. Would be nice. If, uh, if that tourist money could could find its way into my pocket through totally legal means. No theft here. Possibly in the game. Possibly in the game. You know, them vendor bike tourists. We'll, we'll take their money. By force, if necessary. Um, and their belongings, and all of their properties. Etc, etc, etc. Don't quite know how we're going to manage that, but we'll try. We'll try really hard. Oliverine. Gather intelligence. Carry Clayman to London. Can't do that. Do they have any shops? What do they sell? Well, they'll buy a lot of stuff. But they don't sell much. Okay. Good to know. And now... To the Empire of Hands. We'll see what we can trade there. We should walk out of this with a decent amount of coffee, actually, though that will take an awfully long time. Is that glowing? Did I accidentally fall power to the engines at some point? 
I feel like it. It's, it's glowing slightly, and I'm not sure it should be doing that, guys. Guys, I'm kind of concerned. I feel like there might be things I don't know here that are sort of happening. I mean, is the engine about to explode or something? What? What's going on? Why? Does that always glow? Have I just not noticed that before? What's happening? Glow? Oh god, why did I do that? Now the engine could actually explode. Right? Can I stop that from happening? Pro no, I don't think I can. Okay. I mean, that's much faster, certainly. Um. Oh god. We're miles away. Full power. Beware, your engines will occasionally explode. Oh. So no, I wasn't at full power by accident. Um, I was just... Just going. But here we go. Who'd have thought it? Yeah, here we are. Pretty close to the Empire now. Should be, uh, should be some stuff to do. And in the fuels. That hydrogen. Um, yeah. I don't really know what else we can... We can do. We could try to poison the village of pirates, but I'll probably leave that till last in case they do anything interesting. Um. Yeah. It's all. And then, souls. We need souls for them as well. But that, I, I know how to do that, so that's fine. We just need to, yeah, continue on with what we are doing in terms of fuel for the moment. And of course, uh, attempt to figure out the, the vault. The vault puzzle. Um, yeah, we need to poke around with that weird honey they gave us. Mm, it's a concerning thing back there. Not sure about that. But yeah, so, so I'm liking the new ship actually. This seems to be working pretty well. Now that I've figured out that I'm an idiot. And then it was moving slowly because I didn't have enough crew. Okay, sailing. Cool. Let's immediately go here. Uh, trade. Have some wine. And some wine. And some wine. How much do I have? Okay, I will keep doing this. You know, I mean, okay. I'll come back to doing that. We'll do that at some other point. Um, is there anything? Fountain of Helenon. Visit the camp. Consult. Uh, can she think of a way over the mosaic floor? In my experience, darling, such things are built solely by meddling priest types to try and make potential tomb raiders at least bang a little culture into their heads before they get their hands on the loot. Precious little bloody point otherwise. Just wall it up and be done. She bites a nail gently. If only we could read the monkey language, we could work out the correct sequence. Of course, there could be a way to simply bypass the problem entirely. Barnabas, have you any thoughts? The giant clay man does not look up from his duties. Wait, wasn't it shooting poison darts? He's made of clay. There's no... Uh, okay. I mean, uh... Enter the vault. Attempt to read the inscriptions. Okay. It is not the usual rush of red honey, but a slow fizzling sense that spreads through your mouth. For a moment, you have the sense of your body being too big, your blood pumping wrong, memories hang at the edge of conscious. Unclear, fading. As you look at the inscriptions, though, chaos melts into meaning. Read the inscriptions. Slightly dubious retelling of history. A terrible light cast from afar. A sliver of cosmog- Oh. Wait, they're colours. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. I need some paper. I'm gonna write down the colours in order. What's this? Um... What is- What is this? Screw that. I don't know what it is. Ah. This'll do. 
what I used to write Dungeons of Dreadmore things on. Okay, um, a terrible light, so Cosmogon. Cosmogon and the darkness, burning cinders ashore the sea of the dead. The apes who are not yet of the Pentecost fear them, but their covetous natures will not be denied. Those who hold them burn harder, yet are cursed with tortured ambition. No blood spilling can sate. It's an addictive melancholy. This is the Icterine Age? Hmm. Icterine Age. And counted times hence, he will he be the first emperor is not yet the first emperor. It is he who is first blessed to conquer the blue clad emissaries from the welters of the dead and drink deep of their stolen life breath by cinder light. So dawns the Cerulean Age. The Pentecost reach ensorcels the world, shore to shore, and all who are not ape are cast to the dark. The life breaths of emissaries from the waters of the dead have birthed the Empire Eternal in blood and light, all forever bask in the glory of the Amaranth Age. So Cosmoron, Icterine, Blue, Cerulean, Amaranth. That's what I've got out of there. I honestly could not tell you what colour Cosmogon, Icterine, or Amaranth, or Cerulean. I think Amaranth is a sort of purple, and I think Icterine might be a yellow? I'm not 100% certain. Cosmogon and Cerulean, I don't know. I just... I just don't know. I mean, uh, yeah. We'll leave. We'll leave. I might have to go look up some words in the dictionary. Um, <laughs> actually, hang on a second. Do I have my... Um, Cosmogon, okay. That's sort of an orange. So yellow, I guess. So yellow... Uh, Icterine, is that a thing? No, that's Irigo. That's Cerulean. That's not a thing there. An Amaranth. Also, not there. Okay, so those are probably just real descriptors, which I'm going to have to look up. So, we'll leave it here for now. Thank you for watching this episode of Sunless Sea. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I'll trade some wine for coffee in, <laughs> in the next... It's going to take a while, because uh, I have to click each once for each thing, which will be fun for me but hopefully should provide a profit. So, we'll see you next time.